Okay, in this tutorial we are going to learn about this little slider here and how to put our uh, pictures in as well as the text. Um, if we go to plug uh, over here, it's called slideshows. Uh, the plugin, uh, I'll show you where the plugin is located on our plugins. If we scroll down here, we see uh, this slideshow, and that's the plugin that we're using here. So if we go to slideshows, you can see that I, I already have a slideshow in here, and that slideshow is called testimonials. Now, if you click edit here, I'll show you how to uh, insert slides. Uh, first of all, here's your slide list over here, okay? Uh, you have this image slide. Um, uh, this is a picture, and you see that the name of it is image slide. Well, let me click back here. And uh, if you wanted to rearrange these, and let's say that you wanted the, the text slide on top, then you would rearrange them like that, you see. But uh, we, want, uh, we want it to be image. Right now we have it, images on both sides and the text in the middle. So, but if you wanted to rearrange it, let's say you have the text on top, you would, uh, you would do that. But uh, let's just uh, put this image slide back on top here. But that's how you rearrange. So if it's uh, top to bottom, that's how it's going to go from uh, left to right. Now, let's say that you that you can insert image slide, text slide, and video slide. Right now, the way we have it set up, the number of slides to fit into one slide is three, and that number represents one, two, three. So we have three different elements within this slide. Now you can have as many as you want, or you could just have it as one. Uh, totally up to you. I know we discussed a little bit about this before, you know, having a picture on both sides, possibly like a before and after picture with a little comment in the middle. And the people can navigate the slide uh, by clicking left and right, or and this will resemble the number of slides that you have up there. So let's learn how to uh, put these images in here. First of all, basically all you do is you click image slide, and let's say that we wanted this wood countertop in there, just click insert and you can see already over here it's inserted now uh, let's say that you wanted to insert uh, another one here um, oh, maybe cars office just for the sake of time we'll just click insert on this and we can see that it's already in over there so now we have these two images but we want a text slide in the middle so we'll go text slide and we'll call this uh, Gary Smith and say Sandra is a great help when it comes to my DIY projects. Okay? And go like that. And don't forget, let's move that in the middle of there. And if we click update, just like that, and we go back to the services page and click refresh here at the top of the browser here, we should see that we have now, we should have three slides in here. And we see that. So here's Gary Smith, Sandra's a great help with my projects. And so, and then the slide will automatically advance or, you know, they can navigate the slide this way too. A couple other things that might be of interest to you is that you can give each slide a URL. Like let's say that you wanted this to go to a certain section of your website, possibly a post. Uh, well, you would, uh, let's go to home. Uh, grab us the buffet here, and we'll grab. I'm just going to copy this URL, and let's say I wanted. I'll just paste it in there. You see, and I'll click update, and now that image will also become an active link. So let's go back to the services page, and we'll let that slider load up again. And if we, oh, well, let's go back here. So this is the one that we linked. So we'll click on it. And you'll see that it take, took us to our buffet pages. So, but basically, that's it. There's really not much to it. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. You can go over these other uh, settings if you wish. I basically have them set up and optimized. If you want to add a new slide, so you just click Add New, and just put I'll put New Slide Show, and you can uh, select your images, insert, insert, insert. Just going to do this. I'll go ahead and click publish. Now, every slideshow is inserted by the use of a short code or a 
PHP, but you'll basically be using this little code here. Right click copy, and you can put that in any post, page, or widget uh, in your um, website, and it'll work that way. So I hope this has been a, uh, a thorough enough tutorial for you to be able to uh, add content to your slideshows. Um, uh, these, uh, if you want to go over the general settings here real quick, uh, just these are just uh, select the user rules that will perform these actions. Like if you wanted to give it to the uh, authority to add slideshows to possibly subscribers, contributors, but uh, basically we just have them for the administrator, editor, and author to add slideshows, edit slideshows, and delete slideshows. So then we have the default slideshow settings. Uh, you can change these if you wish. And then we have the custom styles. Uh, we can add new uh, custom style sheets if we wanted to, but uh, possibly in the future you might think about that. But no sense in getting into all that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call and uh, or shoot me an email, and uh, let me know if you uh, this was good enough for you. Thanks. Bye.